Good morning, and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Amori Let's Play, and this is part 19 of the Let's Play, just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, so real quick before we do get started with today's episode, I do want to give you guys an update on the Amori Let's Play. So... First of all, I want to apologize for the lack of Amori uploads as of lately. I know I've said it before, and I will say it again. Uh, the main reason for that is because of Rejuvenation, Intense Mode, No Items, and the uh, final update of Pokemon Reborn. I mainly wanted to make sure that I had Rejuvenation finished up before we get into Reborn. And I've been recording a lot more Rejuve than Xenoverse and especially Amori. So I want to pretty much say here and now that I actually have completed and finished recording Rejuvenation and Tense Mode No Items. I will be uploading the rest of the videos throughout the week and probably into next week. But with that being said, I will have a lot more uploads of Pokemon Xenoverse and a lot more of Amori. So we should be good to go on Amori. No more, um, I guess, excuses or anything that's holding me back on continuing this Let's Play. So yeah, very, very excited to be done with Rejuve and to put some more time into Amori. So yeah, I know the Amori Let's Play isn't the most popular Let's Play on the channel, but Again, I've said it before, I don't know, like getting like lots of views and stuff like that, it's just not really my thing, you know? I just want to record games that I enjoy and just have fun with it, you know? So, um, this has been a game I've always enjoyed. But I guess I'll stop talking now. So what's going on? Oh, who's that? It seems like a giant centipede looking thing. Oh, it has those weird looking, um, uh, one dudes. I forgot what they were called. It's been a minute since I've, uh, played. Oh, whoops. I don't know what I did there. I must have been holding down the wrong button, maybe. Sorry about that. Oh, it definitely hit hard. How much HP does it have? Let me see. A sprout mole appears. Oh, that's right. Z is um, the A button. Fight. Well, I would assume we want to attack the crawler, and not the... the mole. I kind of wonder if I may, um... need to level up more. I don't know if, um... Oh. So maybe we actually do need to attack the the mole that it gets. I don't know why I didn't think about it getting help. But what I was about to say was, um, I wonder if it is actually important to like level up in this game. I'm I'm not really sure. You seem to level up decently like along the way, but um, I don't know if it's a bad idea to go out and battle a bunch of the. Um, other creatures that are up there. Oh, Mori did not succumb. I didn't realize we were low. I need to start paying attention. Oh, we're almost done, I think. I definitely need to go back to Mari and get some food. 
Amori's party was victorious. Well, that's a lot of XP. And a lot of uh, clams. You found a sprout mole mask. And learned eat, or fast food, sorry, not eat fast. Okay, so A is Z, uh, shift is pretty much run, okay. Sorry, I just gotta get back to um, the controls on this game. It's been a minute since, since I've uh, played this. So let me go ahead and um, eat real quick because I definitely need some health. Okay, and let me save um, here. I also kind of wonder if we would be able to finish this let's this let's play. Sorry, uh, before reborn episode 19 i'm not really sure if we can um uh, i guess they're just laying there um oh probably because of the uh, centipede uh, looking dude that's probably what it is um actually real quick wasn't there a like a castle over here or do we just gotta go further up Sprout Mole Village. Or, well, that was a J, not an S, I don't think. I think I said that wrong, sorry. Um, yeah, but anyways, though, um, I'm not really sure if I... Oh, you can actually save here, that's cool. Okay, before I get off topic, um, I'm not sure if I can finish, finish this uh, Let's Play before. Um, episode 19 of Reborn. I know, um, I believe on the beta version, uh, release thing, I believe it said that it'll be out on May 16th, if all goes well, of course, um, but I'm not really sure if we can finish this beforehand. I would say maybe. I believe at this point we're probably about halfway there, maybe a little less, a little more than halfway. I'm not really sure to be honest, but I'm going to just take a guess that we are at the halfway point. And I guess if you uh, do know if we are or aren't, um, you could let me know if you want to. Uh, these sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Thanks, Mari. Uh, hello, strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold out extravaganza. I think I said that right. Probably not. A spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second. I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. I can see it now. A dazzling, epic tale about the hardships of romance, heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness, loneliness, sorry, I feel like I said that weird, oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun, I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know, I guess it looks interesting, but now doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero. We should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Mole, sir. We have our tickets right here. And took out these show tickets. I only read part of that, not the entirety of it, sorry. My bad. I think it said Audrey handed over the tickets, so again, 
Uh, my bad for not reading it all. Uh, here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole. Oh. Oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You. You all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Oh, that's it, okay. Real quick, can we explore the area? I hate Mondays. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the Sprout Mole colony in the other world. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. You got a care package. Make sure it gets to him safely. I'll probably need to look up that quest. To see where you need to go. Actually, there's a lot to explore here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. Do you think we'll, we'll all still be friends after we graduate? Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Pretty cool. And I like the little ghost thing in the corner that keeps popping up within the game. Like how that's just like in the corner. This wall is nice and cold. No humans allowed. Can I? Here we go. We are two. We are one. We are Twan. Okay. How dare you speak such blasphemy? It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold. Like... I don't know. Lukewarm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu. I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. For a moment. Ah yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feat since, since sliced bread, sorry. Tofu. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Silken tofu is creamy and can be used for baking, dressing, sauces, sauces, smoothies, and desserts. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Um, like does it do anything different? I'm gonna assume it's similar to um, the wise rock, and you can probably do that forever. Man, there really is a lot to this, but I don't know. I like to explore. Maybe there might be something useful down here. So you don't say much of interest. Uh, what about you? Winter. It may be snowing outside, but winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? 
No. No, 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 no. This does not bring me joy. I'm sorry. I personally hate winter. I hate cold weather. It sucks. Snow sucks. I just hate the cold. Autumn leaves, comfy clothes, the smell of cinnamon. The perfect time to cuddle up with a book. And with holidays right around the corner, you just gotta love fall. Fall is the best season, don't you agree? I would agree. I love fall. I conquer. Fall is the best season. I'm delighted that you agree. Here's a gift from me. I hope you find a good use for it. Oh, we got a rake. Okay. Oh, okay. But I say I'm not really a big fan of spring either. Summer's okay, but I don't know. I never really liked um, uh, which one call it, um, uh, spring or um, uh, winter. I I think summer and fall are my favorites. Fall especially. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Oh yeah, I remember, um, a viewer brought up that, um, a long time ago, they said if you keep, like, clicking on, like, a mirror, that something different can happen? Maybe? Or maybe it's a specific mirror. But I thought they said... That it could be, like, any mirror. About to say, so far I don't see anything different. Unless it's like random chance. Actually, I kind of want to pause. Let me see what they said about that. Alright, sorry for um, the pause there. Um, I decided to look into uh, the comment. But yeah, they were saying um, to pretty much like keep continuing to hit A on, like, any mirror. Um, I might pause and wait until maybe something different, or something different happens, sorry. Um, hopefully it's not, like, some, like, quick, like, cutscene thing, and then I don't, like, unpause in time, you know? Um, but I'm kind of curious on what they mean by clicking A on a mirror. I don't think they're doing this to mess with me. I wouldn't think that, but... I mean, it is possible, but I don't think that's the case. I don't know, games like this, I feel like there is some, maybe some hidden thing or secret about it, maybe. Or maybe I'm doing this for nothing. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna pause here. I I'll do it for like a minute or two more, and um, I'll just unpause when something different happens. If anything different happens. Okay, so I've done this for about two minutes now, and I'm not sure um, if it's just like a low chance to get some Maybe like a secret thing to like pop up or something. Um, I'm not really sure um, what it is that happens. Um, but I'm just going to assume it's some secret thing that's rare to happen within um, any of the mirrors. Maybe I'm not in the right spot. I believe they did say uh, from reading the comment that um, it was pretty much like any mirror you see. Um, I might just need to uh, try a different one. So... Yeah, whenever I see a new mirror, I'll probably go at it again for a minute or two and just see what happens. Uh, but for now, I think we'll just continue on with the Let's Play. Uh, so yeah. Uh, faster men, we must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. A very large, happy outlet. For a moment. I assume they all say the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna guess. Well, let me try one more time. Well, actually, what if I... 
I don't know, just to see if this does anything different. Okay, it doesn't. Never mind. It still stays uh, the same. Okay. One more time. Okay. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sure there probably is something with that, but, um... I've already been at it for a little while, so... Um, I think it's a, a good time to stop there. And I'll try again once we see a new mirror. Uh, the humble abode of Rosa. The number one sweetheart fan in the world. Oh. Okay. Let's see here. Sprout moles, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures, not, a, not observant, sorry, uh, creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. For a moment. I see a, uh, a watermelon here. I'm gonna say no. I don't want to cut down the Christmas tree. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. I don't know, I feel like if you cut the tree something happens, so I don't really want to cut it. Actually, real quick, did we talk to this guy? Oh, we did, okay. He doesn't really do anything different. Uh, let's see here. Have we been up here? It never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situations with tofu. Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Hello sir or madam, would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? Sure, if it's only one clam. Real quick, what does, um, what does Tofu even do? Oh, it only heals five hearts, okay. I was about to say, like, it seems cheap, so I wanted to see, is it actually, like, good, or is it more like a, like a weaker, um, uh, healing item? Um, have we been here? I don't really know. Oh, wrong button, sorry. Oh, we've already been here. That's right, we gotta deliver the one thing. And I believe by, um, uh, talking to her, she will give you that, uh, reminder, right? Basil, Hector, I believe we cannot do Hector, the one rock, just yet. Uh, front row tickets, we're about to get into that now. Uh, Weeping Willow. Fascinating lecture, or literature, sorry. A good listener. I don't remember picking up Weeping Willow, fascinating literature, good listener. Uh, can I... Oh, there's more. Oh, care package, okay. Uh, what's good listener? Candle luster, teddy bear... That's right, I believe that's... Isn't that in the pink castle? I believe that's what they said before, or maybe I'm going crazy. Uh, fascinating literature. For something more exciting... I don't really remember this one. I will probably look this one up. Oh, what is Weeping Willow? Oh, that's right. We got to get him a, um, a joke book. Okay. I remember that one now. But the literature one, I do not remember. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. So I guess we'll see what this is about.
This kind of reminds me of the church. So I wonder if this is like a Mori's um, um, vision, imagination, however you want to word it, of the church itself. It, it's got that similar layout because in the real world um, and um, the headspace, I believe that's what this world is called, the headspace, sorry if I got it wrong. Um, um, I believe there's like, like similarities to the two worlds pretty much. So, um, I believe this kind of represents the church. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's, it's got a similar look to it with the seats being where they were. Um, pretty much like the entire layout. I don't know how else to really word it. It just looks similar to me. Wow, just look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show is about to start. For a moment. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Sure. Actually, what are we at? 26 minutes? Well, too late now. We'll go through this and then we'll probably end it off. I think that's fine. I like to get some more story uh, done with this episode. So this episode will probably be a little bit more longer uh, than normal. But that's okay. There hasn't been many uploads of this uh, Let's Play, so might as well make some progress. Ladies and gentle, gentle moles, sorry, almost said gentlemen. Welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all, our beloved leader, Ye old, Ye old Sprout, sorry. Sprout Mole Mike. Okay. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Wait, this isn't the guy we killed, did we? Because didn't we fight a giant mole, like, towards, like, the beginning of the game? This is going to be a bro moment if it's the same one. May he rest in peace. Or maybe not. And now on to the show. I guess not. Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of the eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Cause contestants, sorry. Uh, number one is a local of the Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant one. Yay. Contestant two is, yep, you guessed it. Also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. Yay. And now for something completely different. Cont contestant number three comes all the way from the other world. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. 
give it up for Snarly. Or Snaily. Sorry, not Snarly. Yay! No, don't boo him. Yay! And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She ex exudes? However you say that. Uh, Grace, she truly has the most... Something face. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Yes. You know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweet... Oh. Bro, not contestant number three. Rest in peace. Snaily should have won. I think that was his name if I got that right. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get the power back on in no time. Welp. Or, sorry, not whelp. Sorry. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help. Well, maybe we should take a look around just in case. Uh, can we talk to these guys? Oh, okay. I would assume it has uh, something to do with the power outlet that's down the stairs. Or down the uh, ladder, sorry. Wow, I guess that blackout affected all of the Sprout Mole Village too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Audrey, this is where the handyman expertise come into play. In, case, in cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. Let me, um, oh, whoops, I meant to, uh, save. Let's get some tomatoes real quick. And I will save. Okay. What are we at, 32? You know what, I, I think this is a good spot to end it off here. And I guess um, next episode we will um, continue on the Let's Play and uh, fix the generator and all of that. I'm going to assume it's the giant plug that was downstairs. Maybe not, but we'll find um, what needs to be fixed, I'm sure, next episode. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, like I said at the beginning, I do apologize for the lack of uploads. Since Rejuvenation is officially finished, there should be a lot more uploads of Amori, so it's going to be a lot more consistent on the channel. Same with uh, Pokemon Xenoverse, and then once uh, Pokemon Reborn Episode 19 arrives, we're going to bring that back, and then we will be back to three uh, Let's Plays, so... Yeah, uh, but anyways, thanks so much for watching, definitely do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.